What's up guys, I device help here and Apple today released yet another software update iOS 9.3.2 beta 1 now this is a large file 1.7 gigs uh, if you guys are updating if you're a public beta tester or a developer uh, let me know in the comments down below what was the size of the downloads for your iOS 9.3.2 uh, beta 1 now this software does not bring any new enhancements to the UI or anything that you may notice by just simply looking at it some minor changes and updates uh, to some of the bugs that were reported with the dictionary the ibooks safari bugs and simulator things that you guys probably didn't encounter at any point but some people have encountered this issues in the past apple also provided some server side updates not directly through software but to siri on the server side to block anyone from activating a low power mode alongside night shift before the server update you can ask siri to turn night shift on in low power mode with stay active that is no longer possible again due to a server side update from apple now also the bug that i talked about a couple days ago that allowed you to bypass the lock screen using twitter that also has been patched with the latest server side update coming from apple directly to siri nothing to do with software updates you don't have to update to get those patches those are already done again through the server end of Apple's servers. I do have the Geekbench report here, uh, 2462 on a single core, 4181 on a multi-core score. That is iOS 9.3.1, and 9.3.2 is coming in at 2529-4400. And as you can see there, there is a drastic change on the performance. And the number one thing you guys are probably thinking is where's the jailbreak? Why aren't we seeing the jailbreak yet? Apple just keeps pushing these software updates. And to be honest, personally, not that I have any confirmed information, but I was suspecting a jailbreak within the next week or so. But now that Apple just keeps pushing these software updates, I don't know how long it's gonna take. I know it can get frustrating. A lot of you guys are waiting. I'm waiting myself. All I have is two devices jailbroken, those two in the background. That is it. With that being said, this is the best time to release a jailbreak if a jailbreak was to be released for iOS 9.2.1, 9.3, and 9.3. Point one. This is beta 1. This could probably go up to beta 3 or so, and then we'll see a final release. But no major updates or features coming with this software. Just again, security enhancements and patches to current bugs. I also do want to mention that Apple closed the window to downgrade from iOS 9.3 to 9.2.1. That is no longer possible. You can only downgrade from 9.3.1 to 9.3 at this time. And uh, for those of you that are currently on 9.2, 9.2.1, or 9.3, stay where you're at. The lower the firmware, again, the easier it is to jailbreak. So if you're on 9.2, just stay there. 9.2.1, stay there. 9.3, people, now that you can't downgrade, stay there. Do not update. If you're waiting for a jailbreak and that's something you're interested in, I would recommend you stay where you're at. Much more videos coming your way. Like always, don't forget to click that like button if you enjoy the content. It's been iDevice Help, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.